So if you're looking to move to Grand Bend, Ontario, Canada, this video will highlight three pros and three cons about why you may or may not want to live there. It is known affectionately as the Gold Coast and Lake Huron is spectacular. Blue flag beaches, world renowned sunsets, but we're going to teach you some things about Grand Bend you may have not have known. My name is Justin Conoco. I'm one of the owners of Prime Real Estate with my amazing wife, Shannon. We cover the whole southwestern pocket of Ontario, but Grand Bend is near and dear to our hearts as our family goes like six generations back in that area. We sell a ton of property. I spend a lot of time on their beaches and parks, summer, winter, fall, spring, all year round. Fishing is amazing on Lake Huron, but I digress. Today, we're going to talk about if you're thinking of moving there, what the pros and cons may be. So sit down, grab some popcorn, and let's get right into it. So the first con about Grand Bend is a lot of people think it's a seasonal town, but I'm going to shift that perspective here. I find Grand Bend being the city on the coast up there has year round amenities, the medical facilities, the grocery stores, even on holidays, they're open because it is known as a resort town. And the winter time to me is almost even better than the summer. And I know you're watching this saying you're insane. Drop it in the comments. Tell me how nuts I am. If you prefer summer over winter, but I love winter because it's quiet. Gives me time to reflect when you go to the Pinery park and it's snow covered. It has some of the best snowshoeing cross country skiing. You can imagine you're driving down that main highway. You're seeing snowmobiles, people out having fun. The people in grand Bend seasonally are incredibly active. Don't even get me started about the summertime. We'll talk about that probably when we get to the pros. The second con that people have when it comes to Grand Bend is it is too busy. You're sitting in traffic on the Blue Water Highway on a long weekend. Well, yeah, you're in a resort town on a long weekend. That's just going to be reality. But they are upgrading the bridge in Grand Bend, which should open more lanes and create more of a flow. And there's a lot of development happening in the area. So trust me, they are working on that. But crowdedness is also a good thing. If you own property in the area, it means there's a big influx of people that are likely investing, dropping money in the local economy. To me, cha-ching, that sounds like a good thing for the area. Number three, the third con that people think about when they think about Grand Bend, it is too far. I mean, you move to Grand Bend, people think you're moving to Thailand, yet you're 45 minutes from the edge of London. You're close to everything you could possibly imagine. I think this is just a fallacy. Again, I'm talking about from my perspective, right? You may think it is too far if you like being around big metropolitan cities and downtown cores, and that's totally fine. But if you're thinking about the beaches and the nature and the accessibility and everything else, trust me, there's restaurants and activities galore up there. Now let's talk about the three pros. And this is three of probably a couple hundred, but these are the three we're going to go over today. Actually, the affordability. So I wanted to break a misconception. A lot of you are going to go screaming to the comments telling me it's not affordable. But if I pull up MLS and I look at the sold data for the last 160 days, Looks like, you know, on the upper end, you're about 2 million bucks. A lot of these are waterfront. But if I flip that sole price and I look at the lowest price to the highest, people are getting into this market at $115,000. Yes, I know those are going to be lace holds and they're going to be more of the trailers because it is a seasonal town. But look at the condominiums, $370,000 for a condominium on Oak Street, $385,000 for a freehold home on Ontario Street, another one on Wildwood sold for four hundred five. dollars these are numbers that are attainable, especially if you're looking for either investment properties, cottage properties, or full-blown homes. Now, if you get into some of the more in-depth neighborhoods, which we will have more tours to cover those areas, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them, you are looking at buying something that maybe needs some updating in the 600s to 750s if you're trying to get into the big three, which would be South Cots, Beach of Pines, or Huron Woods. But as is such in developing cities, there are still good opportunities to be found. So the, which leads me to the second pro development. There has been more investment in development in the last year than I think I've ever seen. Again, my wife's family goes back six generations in the area and the increase in the market was 47.6% from last year. This video is evergreen. So let's say it's 2021. Now I think the last five last year forced about five years of development. Some major developers came up, bought up the main street. You're seeing some big franchise names that are coming and some great local businesses that are getting traction. It is such a nice mix of seeing both, but you're seeing institutional builders come and develop the area. You're also people see you're seeing people invest in those older communities, buy those houses, invest a ton of money in them, which means 
you have after renovated comparables for people to come in and invest money. Now talk about the lakefront. There's almost no ceiling of value. Some of the projects that are happening on the main waterfront area, I'm seeing teardowns purchased for 1.5 to 1.8 million. Let me say that again, teardowns, you're looking at probably 25 to 30,000 a front foot for waterfront. So what does that tell you about investing in the back area? And the bonus that we always provide in these episodes is that Grand Bend is not the TV show Grand Benders. NTV came and shot a TV show that is very well known in the local communities and kind of painted Grand Bend in an interesting light. Trust me, it's not that anymore. I would challenge you to get out there and actually see what's happening. The types of people that are opening up businesses, investing in the local area. It is one of those things that you are going to blink and the whole area is going to be changing very quickly. Obviously, we have troops on the ground there. We know that area like the back of our hand. So if you are moving to the area, hit us up and can't wait to bring you another prime video.